at Huawei, uh, basically we are very openly with a very open mind working with the industry. So when we uh, go to any kind of industrial in, uh, scenario where, for example, I'm talking about smart cities or we're talking about transportation, we're talking about industry 4.0, when we are, we are working with any customers, uh, we have our ICT infrastructure or solution and portfolio, uh, but where we are very open to collaborate with any kind of industry players, uh, ISVs, uh, startups, who can come and bring add value uh, to the kind of solutions we are providing to our customers. So in this way, uh, we are very closely working with the industry. We are work very working very closely with the startups. We are very working very closely with the uh, application developers, what they are bringing into the market to solve the problems of our customers. And we jointly uh, build a platform. Uh, we sometimes call it Open Lab as well in Huawei. And we bring them on to this platform and we present an uh, integrated solution uh, to these customers. And we also give them a platform to test their solutions uh, uh, with us, with our products and solutions. And on the other hand, we sometimes do joint co-marketing as well, Take, give them our mar uh, marketing and sales platform uh, to go together uh, to our customers. Cloud adoption was always happening, but after COVID-19, it has really accelerated. Uh, it has become a mandatory part of our enterprise strategy to move to the cloud. Earlier, we used to talk about private cloud, public cloud. There was a bifurcation between the two, but now we are talking about a multi-cloud uh, environment. Uh, so in, th in this kind of scenario, when all the industries are adopting to the cloud, uh, we cannot be limited in terms of the services we are offering uh, to our customers and help them adopt to the cloud environment. So it has to be something like everything as a service where no matter what industry we are talking about, uh, we're talking about education sector, we're talking about government, we're talking about transportation, we're talking about financial sector. Uh, we need the cloud platform has to be ready to bring them on board and provide the kind of digital transformation uh, journey they are uh, looking for. We give it a lot of importance because uh, it's not only technology that would drive uh, the overall digital transformation scenario of a country or of the industry. It has to be technology and people and the environment and the business, everything works together. So in, 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 in this case, we are running massive programs at the country level, uh, at the academia level, at the organization level, where we are actually uh, certifying and training uh, the workforce onto uh, all different portfolio of technologies that Huawei is working on on generally on different kind of technologies and trends that are coming to help to help uh, uh, the industry workforce to adopt to new technologies to so they can go back and help their own organizations uh, to transform digitally in the right direction so we have set up uh, academies across uh, multiple organizations and universities across the region and we are also running multiple kind of programs uh, for the employees of these organizations for the students uh, and for generally, uh, for people who want to become part of the techno technology scenario. One challenge is that uh, while we are trying to go green, our technology footprint is also increasing. Uh, we, we are more and more getting dependent on technology and, uh, and overall, so we have to see that uh, either we are talking about our networks, either we are talking about our data centers, when we are talking about uh, rolling out um, uh, these things massively, we have to keep in mind that are they, uh, uh, do they have low carbon footprint uh, to the component level, to the, uh, to the smallest uh, box level or I would say solution level, uh, what, are, what is the energy consumption of these things? If we are setting up massive data centers, are they, these data centers green? If we are building buildings, are we not injecting too much of copper into these environments? So in this case, Huawei has come up with a lot of innovative solutions. For example, when we talk about data centers, we are making sure that we are using, uh, uh, while we are utilizing the best of material to bring down the overall consumption, power consumption of the components that are working in the data center, we are using big data and AI technologies to help us do that. Then we talk about a campus environment. We, as if, if you would see on our booth, we are talking about all optical campus. So you can have a minimal footprint of the power or active elements in a campus environment, or you can go all fiber rather than introducing copper and uh, more active power elements into a campus environment. So at the solution layer, in maybe is an, it is an enterprise, it is a building, 
or when we are talking about at a city level or we are talking about as a at a enterprise level or when we are talking about building large data centers at every every layer uh, we are making sure that we are bringing down the overall carbon footprint or overall power consumption or uh, wastage or of these kind of environments